Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Kingdom Come Deliverance. My name is Camel and today I'll be showing you how to get over 240,000 golds worth of items from one chest. Yes, that's right. Not from doing a whole bunch of things, but just from one single chest. You will gain over 240,000 golds worth of stuff to then, of course, sell on. Now, if this kind of thing does tickle your fancy, links to my other Kingdom Come Deliverance guides can be found down in the description, along with links to my social media. Be sure to check all of that out. But for now, let's go and become rich, shall we? So what we'll need to do is be in Ratai. We should all know where this is. This is the city you wake up at after the prologue. Now, while there are a couple of different ways you can get to the chest, this is just the easiest way i found. So what you want to do is walk through the upper gate, which can be found at the eastern side of Ratai. Once inside of the courtyard, turn left and walk through the door under the stairs. Then follow the stairs up and the walkway that follows the uh, castle wall around. Walk through this joining room and then follow this down to the next tower. Now we'll be up on the third level of this tower. As we can see, we want to walk down the stairs here and then turn around to the second level of the tower. This is where the chest is. So on the map, as we can see, I'm down here in Ratai. And then if we take a closer look at the city map, we can see that I'm standing here just behind the cobbler and the tavern, more specifically in this second guard tower. Again, there are a few different ways you can get here, so pick a way and make your way here. Now, getting a chance to get in and get this chest is a little bit tricky because there are a lot of guards that walk through here. There are four beds for guards to sleep on inside there, so there's that. And it's also the gateway to the rest of the pathway around the wall. So not only are there guards sleeping in there, but there's also guards on patrol constantly walking walking through there. But I pinpointed around 6 in the morning is the perfect time. There's almost no guards asleep in there and there's no guards patrolling through there. When I came in there was one guy asleep and here is the chest. Now before we open it I just want to show you that at this point in the game my total value of stolen items was worth 435,894 gold. So let's just wait and see how much that increases after looting this chest. So again make sure there's no guards watching you might want to save before doing this and then open the chest. Now it will be a very hard locked chest, so you'll need a lock picking skill of around 15 to 16 to be able to open it. If you need help with that, I do have a lock picking guide. Now once you do get it open, don't look through it, just steal everything. I mean, of course you can look through it if you want, but you really do not want to get caught in here. So now that we've looted the chest and we go back to the player crime tab, as we can see, the total value stolen now is 682,754. So if we take the number we have now and then then minus the 435,894 that we had earlier, the difference in gold is 246,860 golds worth of items. And of course, that entire difference was gained just then by looting that single chest. Now again, while you want to just loot the chest instantly, I did take some screenshots of this. So if you're wondering what the hell is actually in the chest to make it worth that much gold, basically the chest contains hundreds, if not thousands of weapons. I mean, as we can see here, the sword needle, there's 475 of them, and they're worth 287.1 gold each. So just in the sword needle alone, there's like 93,000 gold worth of stuff there. And if you wish to rummage around through the chest when you do it, go for it. But again, I just want to clarify, we gained 246,860 gold worth of stuff, almost a quarter of a million gold worth of stuff in one chest. That's really mental considering if you combine, say, five hidden treasure chest locations and all the stuff within them, you end up with about 23,000 gold worth of stuff. So five incredibly difficult to find treasure chests combined don't even make up one tenth of the value and wealth we gain from this one chest in Ratai's guard tower. Now at this point, you're gonna be super over encumbered because you've just picked up 2,200 pounds worth of gear. So the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to summon your horse. If you don't have the best horse in the game yet, you should definitely check out my guide for that, but jump on your horse and head back down to the Ratai mill. Once you're here, stick all of the weapons that you just got out of that chest into your chest. Now this chest is considered, I don't know, a safe chest, 
chest, which means none of the NPCs will touch it and nothing in this chest will vanish. This is where you can put all of your stuff. You can of course sell them to the millers because they're considered stolen at this point, so you can only sell them to fences. However, if you wait about an in-game week, the swords will lose their stolen tag and then you can then take them into town and sell them. Of course, you won't be able to sell all of it at once, but you know, every time you walk back up to the city, just take a bunch of swords up or whatever, sell them to all the merchants up there, and over time, you'll just gradually get thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of gold. Now, just so you know, I did do this about four times, and each time the value of the items inside varied. This was usually because the number of weapons would randomly change. For example, we got 246,000 gold worth of stuff just then. I did it once, I got 130,000 gold, and I did it another time and I got 310,000 gold worth of stuff. So I kind of went in the middle there. But if you're not happy what's in there, I think if you wait for a different time of day or you go out and come back, I do believe that depending on which guards are on duty and which guards are off duty, will depend on how many items are in the chest. That's pure speculation and is not proven. But given the number of weapons in there can fluctuate in the hundreds, I don't know what's going on. But regardless, you will make an absolute fortune from this chest. So be sure to let me know how you go with it. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for how to get 240,000 gold plus from one chest alone, almost a quarter of a million gold worth of items. So I do hope that this video helped you out, and if it did, you'll be very interested in checking out my other Kingdom Come Deliverance guides that I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there in the old description, you can also find links to my social media. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And if you would like to support the channel in a more personal way, you can become a heroic patron on Patreon. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos that I create for you to enjoy, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.